against the Taliban. I think you hear that from your military leader. I think General Austin were here. And there were a few Republicans in the Senate who blocked us year after year from getting more SIV applicants to the United States. And I want to know where that outrage was during the negotiations by the Trump administration and former Secretary Pompeo when they were giving away the rights of women and girls and when Secretary Pompeo came before this committee and blew off questions about what they were doing to pressure the Taliban to have women at the negotiating table for that peace treaty. So I think there is a lot of regret and a lot of recriminations to go around. $80 billion worth of weaponry to the Taliban, dozens. We will soon appoint at my direction a senior official responsible for focusing and marshalling all of our efforts on support for women, girls, uh, and minorities in Afghanistan. I think it's very important that we have a focal point in the U.S. government at the State Department whose responsibility is to carry forward this agenda, working closely with you uh, in, the, uh, in the weeks and months ahead. To make good on its counterterrorism commitments, to uphold the basic rights of the Afghan. The fact of the matter is where it leaves us now, on top of all the other things that have been mentioned here from a geopolitical perspective, is not a good place. I think China and Russia and Iran, they look at this botch, which, botch withdrawal and what they see is incompetence that they think they might be able to exploit, may lead to miscalculation. And we have work to do. And I think, uh, to your point, we collectively, over 20 years, invested extraordinary amounts in those security forces and in that government. Hundreds of billions of dollars, equipment, training, advice, support. Uh, and based on that, uh, as well as based on what we were looking at real time. Again, uh, we did not see uh, this uh, collapse in a matter of, uh, of 11 days. But the, I think it is important that we go back and look at all of this. Going on for administration after administration, the Obama administration droned 